For this problem, it says how many milliliters of 4.50 molar sodium hydroxide must be added to 250 milliliters of a 0 0.200 molar nitrous acid solution to make a buffer with pH equals 3.00. So we're making a buffer. That means the henderson hassel balch equation is going to be involved. So let's start by writing that out. pH equals pK plus log, and let's see, milliliters. Um, I'm going to guess that we're going to work this problem in moles. Let's see if that works out. We know that the henderson hassel balch equation can be in either moles or molarities, whichever one works, as long as the molarities are for both the weak acid and the conjugate weak base, or moles are both, so that the units end up canceling out. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say that my know that my pH is going to be 3.00, and I need to find my pKa. And my pKa for nitrous acid, H, which is uh, listed on here, the name. I'm in the wrong place in my equation sheets here. Association constant for acids there. Nitrous, they are alphabetical. HNO2. 4.6 times 10 to the minus 4 is our Ka value, and our formula is HNO2. So 4.6 times 10 to the minus 4, I need a pKa for that, so 4.6 exponent 4 minus. Log, I get 3.34, rounded to two decimal places. And now I have to figure out... Uh, uh, what the other numbers are. So, for example, um, and this is interesting. So, um, we have a strong base and a weak acid. So, that means that there's going to be a mole reaction here. I mean, that's why I'm going to set up a mole ice table. And I know that my nitrous acid is going to react with my hydroxide and my sodium hydroxide. This is a mole ice table because we have a strong base. And this reaction will occur completely. And I'm left with water and nitrite. There we go. NO2 minus. Now let's see how this goes. I can figure out my initial moles of my nitrous acid because I have both my volume and my molarity. So let's do that. I've got 250 milliliters, which is 0 0.250 liters. And that's going to be times 0.2 molarity. I get 0 0.050 moles of that. I don't know how many moles of hydroxide I have, but that's something that I need to know if I'm going to figure out how many milliliters of 4.50 molar, I mean. We never care about the solvents, and then we're starting with zero moles there. Then we do want to end with a buffer. Oh, so this is interesting. This is actually a mole ice table with X's in it. Uh, we don't do these too often, but for making a buffer type problems like this one, we will have to do it. And I get it. 0 0.050, I get X, and I get X. And this X is my moles of conjugate weak base. Uh, oh, minus X there. This is my moles of weak acid, and those are the two numbers uh, I need to figure out in my uh, henderson hassel balch equation. So now let's write it again with all the numbers that we have down here. We've got 3.00 equals 3.34 plus log. Uh, moles of conjugate weak base is going to be X. Uh, my moles of weak acid will be 0 0.050 minus X. And now we have one equation and one unknown. The only thing to do is to solve for that x value. So subtract 3.34 from both sides. That's going to leave me with minus 0 0.34 
equals log of x over 0 0.050 minus x. And then we're going to 10 to that of both sides. And 10 to that cancels out my 10 to that and my log. I'll do 10 to the minus 0 0.34. 0 0.34 minus 10 to that is 0 0.46 equals x over 0 0.050 minus x. And from there, you're going to solve for x. And x is going to be both your moles of conjugate weak base and your moles of hydroxide ion. And if you know your moles of hydroxide ion and you know your molarity, you can then use those two to solve for your liters, I would suggest, because molarity equals moles over liters. And then convert that number into a number of milliliters. And hopefully, it will work out to one of these numbers uh, in the answer.